Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, fellow children, and of course, our wonderful panel of judges. My name is Alessandro. And I'm George. Our speech is entitled A, A New Statue for Our Great City of York. Whether made out of stone, marble, iron, or bronze, a statue is designed to weather all seasons, to stand the test of time. Alas, not all statues achieve this. The statue of Edward Colston, an English merchant who contributed much to the development of the city of Bristol. His wealth and fortunes, however, were built upon the horrors of the slave trade. Torn down by anti-slavery protesters and thrown into a river. The statue of Margaret Thatcher of Grantham, the very first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, who served from 1979 to 1990, whose policies polarised our country and, whilst achieving several successes, resulted in high unemployment and social unrest in many areas of Northern England. Bombarded by eggs thrown by those still deeply unhappy by her policies and politics. A statue is designed to weather all seasons, to stand the test of time. Not only physically, but, and arguably more importantly, to stand the test of time in the eyes of the public, both now and in the future. Constantine the Great, George Lehman, William Exe, Queen Victoria, and soon to be Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, who, you may ask, do we, George and Alessandro, think deserves to join these prominent and esteemed individuals with their very own statue in York? Who would you choose? Here's an idea! Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest football players known to mankind! Alessandro, Ronaldo is Portuguese and has likely never set foot in York in his entire Lifetime. I think we need somebody a little more local. Very well then, what about the superstar of the Pirates of the Caribbean films, Mr Johnny Depp? After all, he was recently in York, and his favourite cocktail bar is the Evil Eye. A statue of Johnny would look great on top of the minster. With his recent public court case and falling out with his ex-wife, I don't think he's the best candidate, do you? I've got it! What about a powerful British figure, one who has the ability to steer the nation and fight for what is just and good? Our beloved Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Let's quickly move on. When deciding on the person of our choice, we reminded ourselves of the pitfalls of statues, sparking recent controversy. After all, we did not want our statue to be one of ridicule, protest or vandalism. Certainly not, no. We wanted to choose a statue of a person who truly would stand the test of time. A statue which celebrated not just the person, but the values they represent. Values which should be celebrated both now and forevermore. In addition to decent human values, we also wanted to choose somebody who actually had a link with our great city, or indeed, our great county of Yorkshire. And so, we believe that Captain Tom Moore should be honoured with a statue in this great city of York. Born in Keithley, therefore a proper Yorkshire lad, he worked hard in school and became an officer in the British Army, serving his king and country. During the Second World War, he fought to defend our country's democracy and freedom from the tyranny of fascism. At the grand old age of 99, and during the height of the dreadful COVID pandemic, Captain Tom carried out a sponsored walk of our hundred lengths in his garden. He raised a staggering £39 million pounds for the National Health Service, clearly having a massive impact on the health and well-being of thousands of people. Captain Tom became the oldest person to top the UK music charts with You'll Never Walk Alone. He was knighted by the Queen and is remembered by many as a man who inspired the world to think of others during times of hardship. How magnificent! 
it would be to look up at his statue here in the heart of the county of his birth and remember his actions, his impact, his legacy, his message. For all those finding it difficult, the sun will shine on you again and the clouds will go away. Remember that tomorrow will be a good day. Loyal to his country, defender of democracy and freedom, committed and dedicated, determined and resilient, optimistic and hopeful, compassionate and caring, Yorkshire, values that will truly stand the test of time. Thank you for listening to us.